So once you have all of your pictures taken, you're gonna go ahead and upload them to Canva. Here's one that I'm gonna work on just so I can show you guys the process. So as you see here, there's four notches on this picture. So I'm gonna use those notches in order to crop my picture and crop out everything I don't want. So here's one, we're gonna bring it all the way up to the edge of the box and then also to the sides and the top. So when you're shooting your pictures, you wanna make sure that everything is straight. Um, it doesn't matter what's behind you because again, you can just crop everything out just like that. It's so simple. So there's one done. I'm gonna bring in another picture and do the exact same thing. You're pretty much gonna repeat the same process over and over until you have all of your boxes. And here's another. So it's really, really simple, guys. So once you have all of your pictures cropped the way you want them to be cropped, you're gonna to wanna to size them the same. So I kinda of just played with the edge arrows to resize my pictures. So here's our completed one with 16 pictures. I have four pictures going across in a row and four pictures going down in a column. So to help with alignment, you will select one column at a time of four pictures, click position, and then click center. After you do that to every column, you're gonna do your rows. So select a row of four pictures, and then you're gonna hit position again, but this time you're gonna hit middle because you don't want those aligned in the center. You'll notice all your pictures will go together. You will do that to every row and every column just to ensure there's no spaces in between each. And that's pretty much it. However, if you look at our pictures, I have one with Marley's legs hanging down. So for this, there's a special way to do it. You can't just remove background. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So we're gonna take this picture up here of Marley and I'm gonna extend it back out so that you see her legs hanging. And just to show you, I'm gonna use the background remover feature. And as you can see, it removes the entire box and everything goes except for her. That's not what we want. So we're gonna click on the fine tuning feature within the background remover. And we're gonna choose restore. It's gonna give you a little cursor thing where you can just highlight everything that you wanna restore. I'm just using my mouse to kinda unerase the box and what I wanna keep. I'm just gonna restore everything except for what's like under her legs because we don't wanna show that. We want that to remain transparent. So if you even have some of the outside of your box on the sides, that's okay. We can go back and use those little toggles on the side to crop that part back out. Now we let Canva work its magic and here's the result. And I noticed that I still had some of my tablecloth showing over here on the edge of the box where she's sitting. And I don't want any of that to show. So we're gonna go back to background remover. But this time we're gonna hit erase and I'm gonna change my brush size and I'm gonna zoom in. That way you can really fine tune and erase the parts that you don't want to show. So we'll let Canva work its magic again, and here's the result. Once you're happy with the erasing and removing the background, you'll just go ahead and resize your picture so it fits with the other pictures. And that's pretty much it. You'll just go ahead and edit all of your pictures, and then you can choose your background. I chose a white textured background. I went to Elements and searched white textured background and then replaced my background. So you could play with that part, add some words, and that's pretty much it. I have my pictures printed at Walmart, um, but you can print them through Canva or any other print service. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm happy to help, and thanks for watching.